Having your Galaxy S23 abruptly shut down and reboot can certainly be alarming and disruptive, but don't panic. In most cases, doing some troubleshooting can uncover the cause and resolve those pesky random restarts for good. Before we move on, please take a second to like our video or even share it with your friends who might have issues with their devices. It's a great help for us. Now let's jump right into our tips. Check the storage. The first thing you have to check if your Galaxy S23 shut down out of the blue is the storage space. It's because having low storage will hinder core services from running properly. To do that, launch settings and then tap on battery and device care. On the next screen, tap storage. Now check if your phone has enough storage left. If it only has 4 gigabytes or less, then you have to delete some of your photos and videos or uninstall some apps you don't use more often. Force restart your Galaxy S23. A force reboot resets all active processes and apps, clears memory, and reloads the operating system cleanly. This resolves many transient software issues. Press and hold the power button and the volume down button at the same time for about 10 seconds. Release both buttons when the Samsung logo appears. The phone will restart. If restarts persist, look into further troubleshooting. Check for overheating issues. After doing the previous solutions and your Galaxy S23 still reboots randomly, you have to check if it's overheating. Excessive heat buildup can cause stability issues and random crashing. You can just hold the phone without a case to know if it's uncomfortably hot or not. Or you can install an app like CPU-Z that tells you exactly how hot the phone is. The normal operating temperature of a phone that's powered on is between 35 degrees and 45 degrees Celsius. If it's more than that, then turn off your device and let it cool down before using it again. Reset all settings. It is also possible that there are some messed up settings in your phone, and since it's impossible to know all of them, you need to reset all settings back to their factory defaults. To initiate the process, first, open the Settings app. Then, tap on General Management and select Reset. After that, choose the option that says Reset All Settings. Be sure to read the warning message before tapping on the option to reset settings again. Resetting all settings will delete all of your custom settings, such as your home screen layout, wallpaper, Wi-Fi passwords, and Bluetooth connections. You have to reconnect or pair them again. For performance issues, these solutions are often enough to fix them. However, you might need to do the factory reset if the problem persists, or you can have it checked. We hope this guide can help. Thanks for watching.